this video is a continuation on from a previous video where we looked at uh, how to use custom states and option sets to filter products. So I've got option sets as my colors and uh, by clicking uh, I can toggle uh, between and filter down my products on my product page here. Um, this video is going to concentrate on how we can do a similar thing but without using option sets, this time we're going to use a data type and that data type is category. And that's how we're going to group together whether it's a t-shirt or whether they're trousers or pants. Um, so if we just have a look at my data so that we're all on the same page, uh, quick reminder in option sets, I've got my colors uh, and colors make a good option set because I want to dictate that from the back end, I'm unlikely to need to add a color on the front end. Um, whereas, uh, categories uh, I might want to add in the future uh, for people to add different categories different types of clothes on the front end so uh, I'm using it as a data type and then within uh, products has got a field of uh, type category labeled category and color with the option set colors so uh, let's go on to uh, our front end here and uh, to make this really quick we're just going to duplicate the repeating group we used for colors um, and let's add a bit of margin onto the top uh, and then set up our data sources so this is going to be a uh, data source category and then i want it to list all the categories that i've got in my database Uh, oh, uh, and because I've changed the data type, I need to update it here. There you go. Easy mistake to make. It still thinks that they're colors. Uh, category label. Okay, there we go. Uh, and now let's set up our custom state. Uh, so we're going to be using the same location, keeps it simple uh, as our custom state for colors. Uh, so this time it's going to be category. It's going to be a type category. And uh, then we do a very similar custom state flow uh, to add in a custom state. I like using the colors. If it's going to add data, I use green. If it's going to remove it, I use red. Um, so category to current sales category and then uh, we need to add the condition you go you add the data in or you remove the data but we're using the same group as a button to do that um, so uh, that's why we add in this conditional statement uh, so when category uh, is not so uh, current sales category then we set it um, let's duplicate that and this is going to be our uh, removing the data so that we can clear it out and make that blank. Let's just see if that works in practice. Ah, I need to update my uh, conditional statement on my icons. Yeah. So when is category? is parent groups category fine uh, right that should work now you just viewed at least a couple of instances where when you copy and paste stuff and change uh, some parts uh, it doesn't always translate across well and can you remove it yep you can remove the check okay how do we apply that to our repeating group um, so at the moment I have it set up that the repeating group shows all products no constraints uh, but then when a, uh, a filter of color is applied, so this custom state isn't empty, I update the uh, data source. Now that works, but it's not going to work well if I'm trying to filter it by two different uh, like parameters. Um, so instead of using a conditional statement, I'm going to move that over to here and say filter by color color equals and then uh, find my custom state show color and let me just show you what that does right now so my custom state is empty and so my repeating group is empty because there is no color 
But if I check this box here, ignore empty constraints, color is going to be empty until I check a box, but that's ignored. And so I can do a similar thing with category. Category equals um, filter container, and then yeah, ignore constraints. Let's see how well this works. So color is back to how I expect. And now, so is my categories. So that works, but it wants to go red. Doesn't work because there are no red trousers. So there you have it. There is a quick overview of um, how we've used option sets in the past for colors, how we've used a new data type category for categories, uh, and how we've used custom states uh, to filter a repeating group, uh, and in fact, how we've been able to merge two filters together so that we can filter by both color and by uh, clothing category.